So you're wearing a Jesus is my savior, Trump is my president. Louisiana now putting um, the Ten Commandments up in classrooms there. It was mandated, signed into law by Governor Jeff Landry. How do you feel about that? I have no issue with that. It's a uh, separation of church and state, which is the, the state should not endorse a religion, not that you should have no access to religion. If you, but right, I'm, and I'm not even arguing, I'm just trying to get a sense of what people think. Uh, how if would you imagine, I'm not a Muslim, but if I was a Muslim kid in school in Louisiana and the Ten Commandments were up there and I worship a different God, it would give me- They don't, they don't worship a different God. Allah is our God, it's the same God. It's the same God it's as- It's the same God, right? Jesus is a prophet in Islam and he's not a different religion, it's the same God. Okay, so, so you don't see any difference between Allah and Jesus? No, I said in in Islam, Jesus is a is a prophet in Islam. He's not the son of God like they do in Christianity, right? But it's this, Allah is the same God that we follow. The governor of Louisiana signed legislation that mandated putting the Ten Commandments on the wall in classrooms. How do you feel about that? I think it's I think the moment we put God outside of our schools and our kids' lives, and we took prayer out, I think our nation declined. Yeah. You have a problem with it violation the violation in the separation of church and state, because it's not just like the Pledge of Allegiance, one nation under God. It is specifically the Christian Ten Commandments. Well, they're not the Christian Ten Commandments. Moses was a uh, Jew, so and you know. Fair, but 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 they are the tenets of Christian belief. The Jews don't incorporate the Ten Commandments in their Torah in the same way. Okay. Um, I, hey, they came from God, and I I'm I'm a fan. So. Uh, so if they hung up, let's say. Uh, the four pillars of Islam up on the wall. Um, would that bother you? Well, yeah, because our con we're one nation under God. Well, under they would say, but what if you had, you know, one of your Muslim friends had a kid in school and the same, and, you know, they, they wouldn't let them put it up. Well, maybe if we were in a different nation, like, you know, a Sunni or, you know, Iraq or, you know, over there in Islam, then, yeah, but not here. I mean, no. But why, I mean, if we, we, you know, we don't have a God, we have a separation of church and state. I'm, I'm challenging you on this because there are people that are upset that, you know, that it's just the Ten Commandments and it isn't the pillars of Islam, it isn't the Torah, it isn't anything from Talmudic law, it's just that. Well, we, they came directly from God though, right? Do, I'm not sure if those religions have something that came directly from our Lord. Well, but that's what I said, it's not their Lord. Just Islam, right? I mean, well, I mean Ju Judaism, yes. Well, Judaism doesn't worship Jesus Christ. Okay, but we're talking about our Lord, not Jesus, so. Well, I mean, right, a Lord, a God. Right. What about if you had a friend who was atheist and sending their atheist child to school? And hey, I, I if that that's, they could easily put them in another uh, denomination or another. You can't, go, public school in Louisiana, you can't afford to go to private school. You're an atheist and you're sending your child to school and they've got to look at the Ten Commandments on the wall. Well, I can only speak to like, you know, it, it, me as a parent, right? I mean, my child attend, I, I, after COVID, put them in public school, right? There are children in his class every day that do not stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, you know, that put their head down or, you know, I mean, we're talking third grade, fourth grade, you know, I, I don't feel that that is proper, you know, you are in our nation, you know, and I, I do understand that church and state, yes, they are separate, you know, but um, I, I, I feel and, and we have is, a freedom to wor freedom of worship. Correct, yeah. And um, the closer God, I mean, in many of the schools, there's a lot of nonsense on the walls that I don't want my kids seeing either. But guess what? They got to look at it, you know? They, and it, that, to me, is much more of an abomination. And, than, you, and you respect the people that are trying to take that down. Exactly. Yeah. So you you, know, it's like, hey. That, so that, you understand why people don't want the Ten Commandments up, too? I mean, yeah, that, that's their prerogative, you know? Thank God we, we all are given that right, you know? So, yeah. Um, they're putting the Ten Commandments up in schools by law now in Louisiana. Do you think that blurs the line of church and state too much? Uh -huh. I don't think so, no. No, I don't think so. Because we've become a law of uh, a country of uh, immor immorality and, 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 and unlawlessness. You see the crime everywhere. I mean, crime is out. It's outrageous. Here in Philly, in Chicago, Baltimore, New York. I mean, you have violent crime is actually way down, but but yeah, violent crime is way down. But you still have people breaking in cars, break uh, private property uh, crime that that's you know that's still you know 
very, very prevalent. The Ten Commandments are now mandated to be put on the walls in Louisiana classrooms, public schools. How do you feel about that? I feel like that's good. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you shouldn't, um, you shouldn't really like enforce, enforce your own agendas, but I feel like putting like that in a classroom, that's fine because... What if, if you're a Muslim kid? What if you're a Jewish kid? What if you're an atheist kid? I can see where that's, that's like right in their face. I can see where that's, you know, kind of crazy, but they wasn't say, oh, uh, we're going to put in like Christian schools, Catholic schools. Yeah. I think, yeah. yeah but I feel like general public or charter, that's not right. You know, in Louisiana, they just said last week that they're putting the Ten Commandments on the wall in every classroom. Do you support that? Yes, I do. If a, if a gay pride flag can be on the wall, why can't the Ten Commandments? But they don't mandate a gay pride in public schools, but there is a separation of church and state. So the public schools in that state are saying you still have to put the Ten Commandments up. So I see nothing wrong with it. Just like the Pledge of Allegiance. That's banned in some schools, too. That should be said, too. We live in America, right? And what about if our Jewish friends and Muslim friends have kids at that school and it sort of, a, you know, confuses their kids or, or whatever? Are you okay with that? That's the job of the teacher to adapt to it. In Louisiana, they just mandated this past week that the Ten Commandments should hang in every classroom, every public school classroom it's in the state. Flag. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of the? But, but not different than the flag. These are the Ten Commandments because they're separation of church and state. Do you, does that? How do you feel about that? It should be in there. Yeah. 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 You know, I mean, it, they just don't want to have Jesus in their lives. Well, what do you say to like you know your Jewish friends whose kids are there, your Muslim friends whose kids are there? That's fine. You know, they don't have to follow, they can just go with it. I went to school with Muslim kids, Catholic school, Holy Child, 5200 Broad Street. Everybody got along, you know, and you respected everybody, respected their religion. And you, they, back in the day, they used to bring stuff in and, you know, this is our culture. I don't know if they do that anymore, you know, but it's just so crazy out there, sir. In Louisiana, they're now hanging the Ten Commandments in public school classrooms. Is that too much blurring the line between church and state, in your opinion? I don't think so. I mean, I'm a I'm a believer. I, I have faith. I think if you want to, you know, show your faith, why not? And if they want to fly all these types of flags, you know, the LGBTQ flags and all that. But those aren't in classrooms and religious unless it's a choice that's being put there. But I'm I'm talking about. Well, let's say you have a Muslim friend whose kid is going to a classroom with the Ten Commandments, and he said, "Hey, you know, I'm I'm a little upset because my kid's in school with the Ten Commandments on the wall. You think that's a violation?" I don't think so. I mean, if they want to hang whatever Muslim, the Quran, or I don't even, I'm not even sure if that's the right thing, but if they want to, you know, hang their things, why not? You if don't they, think of what's a real thing? What's that? Would you say you don't know if that's a real thing? No, if that's what they, if, that, if that's what they follow, that's what I, I see. Okay. So, um, but yeah, I think if you want to, and if you don't like it, then, you know, switch schools, you know.